Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back for an, for part 3 for the Wicked Win Tournament and yes we got the, the final 4 matches of the first round here with the Allosaurus Atrox taking on Majungasaurus, Mega Raptor having a go at Sedshwangasaurus, Ace taking on the Indosuchus and the Alpha Dilophosaurus going up against Allosaurus Fragile. And without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup. Ooh, I don't know what to expect, because the last video, there were a lot, of, a lot of upsets in the last video. You know, the Carnotaurus getting knocked out, the Alpha Allosaurus getting eliminated. I don't know what to expect here. But, at first, we have an Allosaurus Atrox. <coughs> so bad, I shut my window. <laughs> Alright, in the blue corner, we have the Majungasaurus. A far more balanced attack for the Majungasaurus, with the Allosaurus Atrox's power all on the crit. But both of these two are quite attack-minded, so we could be in for a very quick match. Ow. <laughs> Elbow my desk. Alright, I'll... Majungasaurus gets the first hit. And it's a tail smash. And a bit of Dromeo Rush coming as well. Decent damage done to the Atrox. I like I, I actually like Allosaurus Atrox's design. I think it's pretty cool. The red, the blue, the white, very pa very patriotic if you're American. Oop, that's a tie. Or it, or, it could, or it could qualify for a British Dino as well. Oh, oh um, I think Majungasaurus has won. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? But I told you it was quick. The Allosaurus Atrox biting the dust, and Majungasaurus getting a 1 0 lead. It's <laughs> kind, of, kind of quick, but you know, what are you going to do? Right, on to round two. Alrighty then, here's round two. No need to go through the moveset since we all know what they have. Can the Allosaurus Atrox even the score, or will the Majungasaurus continue to impress? We got Mr. America here versus Candy King Zor. Ooh, lucky seven type, they're being triggered. The Allosaurus Atrox finally getting off a hit, and there's the attack boost which will buff up that bite and wind's power. So should the Allosaurus Atrox get off a bite and wind, then I think the Majungasaurus will die. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Instead, the Majungasaurus gets off the hit and regains the lead. Oh, 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 here we go again. I think Majungasaurus is dominating again. This won't be lethal, but it will leave the Allosaurus Atrox's HP in the red. Which means all Majungasaurus needs to do now is get one more hit off and it will be going through. One more hit or probably three or two more times, maybe two. I'm not, I forgot, I forgot what type Majungasaurus, this Majungasaurus is, it might be charge type. Oh, that's a type. Okay. Any hit from the Majungasaurus will do it. Yep, that is game over for the Allosaurus Atrox. A hurricane beat, a hurricane beat coming from the Majungasaurus to finish him off. I was quite disappointed actually. I thought Atrox would do well in this tournament, but like the Carnotaurus, it just could not get the hits when it needed them. But wow, another gold Dino bites the dust. The Majungasaurus advance into the quarters. And the Allosaurus Atrox disappointingly being eliminated. Well, now on to our next matchup. Because, or, because. Now, okay, I'll say it again. Now, let's move on with our next matchup, which sees the Mega Raptor taking on the Sejuangosaurus. Alrighty then. In the red corner, the last hope for the gold dinosaurs in this tournament, we have the Mega Raptor. <coughs> and yes, as I just said, it's the only gold dinosaur left now after Allosaurus Atrox and Carnotaurus bit the dust. K 
Can Mega Raptor, can Mega Raptor advance to the quarters, or will he share the same fate? Well, I'd be absolutely stunned if Mega Raptor didn't win this matchup because in the blue corner we have a Sejuangosaurus. And while the Sejuangosaurus does have better technique, I would probably say Mega Raptor is better. I mean, I'm sure I said it before because you know the gold dinosaurs have more health and more attack than the um, thousand strength dinos, but the thousand strength dinos have more technique, but technique is more luck based, so. By my logic, I'd probably say that the gold dinosaurs are stronger. Ooh, the Sejuangosaurus getting the first hit. And it's a critical one. But yeah, look at that. That's his crit and it does that much damage. But yeah, I'm pretty confident Mega Raptor will win this matchup. And yet, yeah, look how much damage Mega Raptor's crit's going to do. Right, look, look at the di look at, look at the difference. Look at, oh, oh. You just look at that. Just look at that damage, compared to that damage. His crit does that much damage. His crit does that much damage. I, I know the Mega Raptor has, slight, has more health than the Sejuang, but... It, wow. <laughs> but anyway, back to the match. The Dino Illusion being triggered, so the Sejuangosaurus won't be buried yet. Oh, it gets off another crit. I mean, I will say Mega Raptor has a lot more power in its crit than Sejuangosaurus, and Sejuangosaurus' moves are more balanced, so I will say that. But still, pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, that's a tie, my friends. Ooh. Well, you know, it's quite an even match, actually. In the context of things, while the Mega Raptor's in the lead, you know, the Sejuang does have the Dino Illusion. And I think my Sejuang is revival type, so. Well, here comes that hit from the Mega Raptor, but that Dino Illusion is going to stop the Sejuangosaurus from dying. Wow, this is actually a close game. But, like, the Mega Raptor's literally got one hit off. Oh my god, I think the Sejuangosaurus has won! Um, this is not looking good for the gold dinosaurs. Wow. Well, somehow. The Sejuangosaurus has a 1-0 lead. Can it do the unthinkable and defeat the Mega Raptor? Let's find out in round 2. Alrighty then, round 2. Can the Mega Raptor make up for the defeat in the first round? Or can the Sejuangosaurus pull off the upset? And well, this would be upset of the tournament so far. I mean, the Neo Venator was quite powerful, so, you know, it was... Slight surprise, but you know, it did beat the Carnotaurus quite well. And then the Allosaurus Atrox losing to the Majungasaurus, you know, those two are pretty much on par with each other, so you know, that's not much of an upset. But this, you know, Mega Raptor is probably is definite is probably better than the Sejuangosaurus, but you know, this would be a huge upset. Oh my god, he's got a crit! How many crits has Thing got off in this match? Ridiculous, but he hasn't got a Cyclone off yet, so that's quite a surprise. Go on, Mega Raptor, pull yourself together. <laughs> You're going to get knocked out here. You're going to make the golds look bad. Ooh, here comes the crit from the Mega Raptor. Oh, here's the Dino Illusion, though. And that definitely, well, it didn't save the Sejuangosaurus from dying, because the Mega Raptor did get a hit off, but the Dino Illusion stopped it. Oh, Sejuangosaurus getting off a hit, and it's a Lillian Cure. Oh, I healed a little bit, but no. <laughs> Lillian Cure's pants. Oh, that's another tie. Wow, it's an even match again, but I probably say the Sejuangosaurus does have the advantage with that Dino Illusion in play. And well, we're going to see that Dino Illusion once again save itself from being defeated by the Mega Raptor. Oh, should we just take note that Mega Raptor would have won this match at 2 0 if it weren't for Dino Illusion? Just saying. Oh, it's a tie. Oh my god, Mega Raptor lost! <laughs> um. Oh my god, the, the Sesh 
Strongosaurus has won 2-0. Um, two words to sum up that match. Dino Illusion. It's busted. Well. Well, if you betted on any of the Goldwind dinosaurs winning this tournament, you're wrong because they've all been eliminated. Wow. That's, that's a huge upset. Like, Sejwongosaurus? <laughs> uh, but let's just make it clear that if the Sejwongosaurus didn't have Dino Illusion, the Megaraptor would have won that matchup 2 0. So let's make that clear. Dino Illusion was the only reason that the Sejwongosaurus won those matchups. But it is but it is going through and it will be Majungasaurus taking on Sejwongosaurus. Wow. All the gold dinosaurs are eliminated. We're going to see a non-gold rare dinosaur win for the first time. I mean, you know, the Secret Showdown tournament is different because they're all gold rare dinosaurs. But in the Fire tournament, the Mapusaurus dominated. And the Water Washout tournament, the Spinosaurus was quite impressive. But this time, we're not going to see a gold dinosaur win. And that's quite exciting, actually. And that has definitely blown this tournament wide open. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a because it's a win tournament, so it blows it open. No, <laughs> that is funny. Right. Anyway, on to our third matchup, which sees one of the fate well, one of the fan favorites, Ace, taking on the unknown Indosuchus. Alrighty then. In the red corner, we have Ace, and we're gonna skip that bit because you know it takes too long. Yes, Ace, the anime dino. Can it win this tournament? We'll just have to see. I don't know what battle type it is. Ah, now I know. It's, um... Actually, no, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Ace looking pretty good there, but it'll be it'll be interesting because in the blue corner, we have the, the rogue, the Indosuchus. Does it sound like a hybrid? Oh, interesting. It has quite a lot of power in its crypt. You know, for a 1400 strength dino. I, I, I hardly know anything about this dinosaur, to be honest. You know, what I can do, what is stat size, is definitely an unknown in this tournament. But can it do well? Well, it, well it's getting the first hit. Indo Super's off to a good start. Not much damage done to Ace, though. I'm sure Ace can walk that off. Ooh, that's a tie. But none of our combatants have Sonic Blast, so ties won't really matter. But Ace does have Cyclone. So, yeah. If Ace gets off a Cyclone, then ties will definitely suit him. Oh, and the Indosuchus has Cyclone as well, and he gets it off too. Which means that Indosuchus is in control of this match so far. And, well, a hit will pretty much win it for him. Oh, he does get a hit. Ace in trouble here. The Indosuchus dominating. And the Indosuchus winning. I don't even know what bloody type it is. That's how, that's how little I know about this Indosuchus. Now, I'll have a quick look. I'll have a quick look as we move on to round two. Alrighty then. Round two between our combatants. No need to go through all the movesets because we all know what they have. Can Ace pull this back, or can the rogue Indosuchus continue to impress? Wow. Wow, yeah, this Indosuchus, I believe, is strength type, so I don't know what that means, but, you know, it's got to be something strong, is not it? Oh, oh my, oh my god, the Indosuchus getting off an opening crit. Ace still yet to get a hit in this matchup. But come on, Ace. Come on, you can do it, Ace. Um, I think Ace is gonna get beaten here. Like, come on. The whole, the whole point of me putting up these bloody best of three matches is so we have back and forth matches, not bloody one-sided garbage like this. Okay, it's a tie. It's a tie. You know, at least Ace did some damage. Oh, finally, finally, Ace gets a hit. And it's going to be a major one, because it's a biting win. And yes, Ace did actually use this move, 
He only used it once, and he never u didn't use it against any dinos. Just used it to stop the lava flow. Ooh, a cyclone as well. That will definitely help Ace here. And actually, I think one hit from Ace might even the score. Oh, oh, I think Ace, I think Ace has even the score because of that attack boost. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Look at that. A sliver of health on Indosukas, but at least Ace is throwing up a fight. A tie will do it for Ace. And we'll defeat the Indosukas and even the score. And finally, we actually have a good match. Well, the first two matches were good, but, you know, they were like... 2-0 wins, but this time we're going to have a 2-1 win for whoever wins this next matchup. But well, here we go, round three. And honestly, I, I don't know who I want to win, you know. I, I want Ace to win because, you know, he's a fan favourite. and He was always my favourite out of all the um, anime dinos. But I want Indos Indosukas to win because we don't see much of it. And I want to see what else he can do. Oh, it's, it's, it's always a dilemma, isn't it? I love... I, I don't know why. There's so many wind dinosaurs I love in this franchise. I feel like wind is my element. Ooh, the Indosuka's opening up with a hit. And a Tappy Jara dive to come. Yeah, boosh. Cyclone? Nope. Actually, I wonder what... Well, actually, no, that'd be impossible, wouldn't it? Because the Cyclone effect only lasts one turn. What I was going to say is, I wonder what happens if both of our opponents have the Cyclone effect, and then it's a tie. Would they just cancel each other out, or would or would the um, latest Cyclone effect activate? Of course, we'll never know, because thus can never happen. What can happen, though? The Indosuka's getting off the crit, leaving Aces health in the red, and getting off a Cyclone, tightening his grip on this match. Which means, to put it simply, Ace has to get the next hit here, or it's game over. And that, my friends, will be game over, because the Cyclone will allow the Indosukas to attack in a tie, and a Tappy Jara dive will finish off Ace. Not that he needed it. Well, the Indosukas looking mightily impressive there, eliminating the fan favourite Ace, and advancing to the quarterfinals. That's disappointing. You know, all the anime dinos seem to suck in these tournaments. I mean, Spiny did kind of okay. Terry sucked. Ish. They're kind of disappointing. But, oh well. That is how, that is how the tournament will go. Actually, no. Ace and... No, Terry and Spiny did okay. They won their first matchups, I think. But Ace kind of sucked. So, a, a real shame. But never mind. At least we get to see more Indosukas. But anyway... On to our final match of the first round and our final match of this video, which sees the Alpha Dilophosaurus taking on the Allosaurus Fragilus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Alpha Dilophosaurus. Um, not sure what to expect from this guy to be honest, but he doesn't he might he might go far in this tournament, especially with a lot of heavy hitters eliminated already. Could the Alpha Dilophosaurus be one to watch? Could we also see the Allosaurus Fragilus do well in the blue corner? With, as I said, a lot of the heavy hitters out already, could Allosaurus Fragilus have a chance? I mean, look at that, that's pretty, that's really good stats. That's pretty good for a B1400 strength dino. Allosaurus Fragilus could be one not to be messed with. Oh, well, the Allosaurus gets off the first hit. Not much damage dealt, though. I think Allosaurus has a bit more oomph in its crit. Ooh, but the Alpha Dilophosaurus strikes back. An even start so far. Ooh, the Alpha Dino gets another hit off. Still no Jet Shuriken. I think that's Jet Shuriken, yeah. They make these movesets and I don't even know what they are. Some host I am. Ooh, the Allosaurus getting off a Mayfly. A Mayfly which it used in the anime to clobber Chomp and Spiny. 
Lots of damage dealt and the Allosaurus won attack from winning the first round. And here comes that win now. The Tuple Fora dive to make sure of it. The Alpha Dilophosaurus is defeated and the Allosaurus wins round one. But of course, as we all know, it's not just one round that matters. It's this next round and well the round after that if it's a if it's a tie after this round, but you know, let's go on with round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two here. Can the Alpha Dilophosaurus even the score? Or can the Allosaurus secure the quarterfinal place? Brexit! Bing, bing. You know what I find interesting? I wonder if Allosaurus was going to be Rex's dino instead of Carnotaurus. I wonder if that was going to be the case. You know, it's interesting. But anyway, back to the match. The Allosaurus opening up strong there with a Tupu for a dive. Ooh, the Dilophosaurus so gets off that crit. And it's Alpha Dart time because, you know, it's an Alpha Dino, so we got to give it Alpha moves, haven't we? Oh, it's the Alpha Bot. Bonk. Blech. Dead. Oh, and here comes the Jet Shuriken. Adding extra damage here. Slicing up the Allosaurus into ribbons. Oh my god, look at that. Almost killed it. Big damage from the Dilo. Big damage. Oh, oh, well... Depending on what this wheel lands on, it could be game over for the Allosaurus. Has the Dilophosaurus even the score? The answer is, yes he has. As the Dino Man statue comes down and shatters all the bones of the Allosaurus Fragilus. Okay, maybe that's a bit overkill, but yep, you get the gist that Alpha Dilophosaurus even in the score. So you know what that means? It all comes down to this next match. Alrighty then, round three between these two. Who will secure that final place in the quarterfinals? And who will be the f And who will be kicked out? Skip. I don't want to see the movesets again. Oh uh, yes, bit of back and forth match. But who has just enough fuel left in the tank to pers pursue that victory? Honestly, I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I just say random gibberish and hope it's good. Oh, the Dilo getting off the first hit there. The Alpha Dice, although not much damage dealt as the die only landed on two. Five? Ooh, but the Alpha Dilophosaurus is going to get a second chance here. Oh, and this time it's going to be a five. So big damage coming. Allosaurus is winning. Oh, um, I think the Allosaurus is dead. Yep. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? The Alpha Dilophosaurus making quick work of the Allosaurus and knocking it out of the tournament and booking their place in the quarterfinals where they will take on the Indosuchus. Right, that has concluded round one, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have a look at the matchups for the quarterfinals and then we'll end the session. Well, that is how our matchups look for the quarterfinals. We will see the Afrovenator taking on Rugops. The Ceratosaurus going up against Delta Dromius. The Monolophosaurus taking on Neovenator. Lillian Sternus going up against Eustreptospondylus. Majungasaurus taking on Sejuangasaurus. And then Indosuchus going up against Alpha Dilophosaurus. And wow, look at all these matchups. Actually, if we're basing this off strength, then I'd probably say the, the Majungasaurus might actually be the favourite for this tournament now, but there's been so many upsets in the first round. I mean, you have the Uteraptor knocked out here. I mean, that's not much of an upset, because this was quite a close game. You have the Alpha Allo knocked out down here as well. And yeah, actually, only these, oh, there's only these two for the Silverwind Dinos. Just thought of that. But yeah, Majungasaurus does have the most health and might be the most attack. Total attack, I should say. So maybe the Majungasaurus is the slight favourite now. But, you know, I probably would expect the winner of the tournament to probably come from this bracket. 
But, you know, with all the upsets that have happened so far, I'm not, I'm not really sure who's going to win. And I think this tournament's definitely been blown wide open. So, yeah, that is the end of the first round. So, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time, where we shall do the quarterfinal rounds, where we will have the Afrovenator taking on Rugops, Monolophosaurus going up against Neovenator, and Majungasaurus taking on Szechuanosaurus. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.